Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Manjaro Mate. Before we get started, please don't forget, like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, they're in the description below. Also, if you would like to become a patron to the channel, in the description below, click on that Patreon link, go over to eBuzz Central on Patreon, sign up, and become a patron. Manjaro Mate. If you download it, put it on a USB stick, or throw it in the virtual box and boot it up, this is the screen you're met with. Right off the bat, you get the welcome screen, Manjaro Hello. It's Pavo 21.1.2. On this screen, there's a lot of good information. A lot of people, when it first boots up, automatically go up here and click Close. But if you go down here, you got documentation, you got README, you got release info, and you got a wiki. All the information you need about the operating system is right here. You can get a lot of good info here. So don't just skip out on it. Support, there's your forums. If you run into a problem after you've installed that you need help on, click over, go into the forums. I promise you somebody over there will help you solve it. Discover software, you can go find software that's hard to find sometimes, mailing lists. Project, you can get involved with the project. If you're a developer and would like to help out, click on development, go over and talk to the development team, and then donate. If you like what Manjaro is doing and you want to help them out, Click on that donate button, help them out a little bit. And then, of course, if you want to install, you can launch installer here or you can launch installer over here. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off and close it. This is the desktop you're met with right up the bat. And that is the wallpaper. If you right click, you can create a folder, create launcher, create document. You can open terminal or you can change your desktop background. And when you click on that, all these backgrounds open up. Of course, you're going to have your standard Manjaro backgrounds. You're going to have a lot of other beautiful backgrounds. Let's just pick one to be different. Let's click on that one. And then we go down here. You've got the Manjaro. We will just leave that there. Theme. You can change your theme of what your windows look like. Right now, you're on a custom. If you wanted to go to Blackmate, you just click on it. Everything changes over. If you wanted to go to Blue Submarine, you just click on it. Everything changes over. You've got different ways you can make your windows look. You've got different ways you can adjust the operating system. I'm going to go back to custom. I'm just going to leave it on black mate. After you stay on your theme, you can check out fonts. It shows over here, application font, document font, desktop, window title, fixed width. Any of these fonts you want to change what they're using, you can change it right here. You just click on it. Then you can pick the font that you like. And then the size of that font, once you're done, you click select and it changes it globally across the whole operating system. And then interface. If you want to show icons and menus, you can. Buttons, file chooser, Preview down here will show, like, if you don't want to show icons in the menus, you can click off, on, and then you can change these up, and then you get a minor preview down here in the windows. So show icon in menus. Turn that off. The icons are gone. Turn it back on. The icons come back. So let's close out of that. Bottom panel, you've got your home folder, date and time. you got your battery of your laptop. you got internet connection. Right here, it's telling you you got 79 updates available. We're in a virtual machine, so we're not going to do that. And then, of course, you got your sound settings and volume. Let's click on the menu. When you open the menu up, you get a simple menu. Now, you can right-click on that, and it's locked a panel, of course. You can go to Edit Menus, and you can come over here. If there's different items that you want to add and subtract from your sub-menus, you can. You just pick a menu. And then let's say you don't want these in the internet menu. You can do that. And then when you go back over, those won't be in that menu and you don't have to worry about them cluttering up. This is a way for you to basically design your menus the way you want them. So let's close out of that. Back down to menu, you've got accessories, character Mac, discs, make calculator, make font viewer, plank. If you want to start plank, you just click on it. And then you've got a dock down here if you want to use that. Back over to accessories, you got pluma. And then take screenshot administration. You got to add and remove software. Let's check out their software center. Now, because we are running in a virtual box, I'm going to go ahead and explain this to you. If you install this on your PC or laptop, if you install this on your PC or laptop, first thing you're going to want to do in the software center is open it up. Once you're here, you're going to see this hamburger menu. Just click on it and go down to preferences. And under general, don't do anything yet. What you'll want to do is go to third party and you'll want to enable ARU support. Just turn that on. And then go back to general where it says official repositories, use mirrors from worldwide. You want to click refresh mirrors. That will take about a minute to three minutes. Basically what that does is it updates your mirrors worldwide. So when you go to download an application, it's going to use the closest mirror to you. So that way you can have the fastest possible download speed. 
once that's done, once that's refreshed, then you can close out of that. And then you can go over here. If you've got updates that are due on your system, like I do, just click on update, let it update. And then once you get done with that, you can go back over and start browsing and looking for applications that you want. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Back over, we already looked at add and remove software, games, no items and games, graphics, you get IMate Image Viewer, Mate Color Selector, Internet, you got Firefox, HexChat, Pigeon, Steam, Thunderbird, Transmission, you get Office, out of the box, it comes with the only Office desktop editor. Manjaro's been doing a lot of things in the community that have been causing news. Manjaro Mate comes out of the box with only Office. Manjaro Cinnamon is now coming with Vivaldi as a default browser. So they're kind of shaking things up a little bit, making some news making a little noise, which I think is good for the Linux community. Then we go to Other, which will have your HP UI scan for your printers and stuff. Preferences, About Me, Appearance, Assistive Technologies, Displays, Firewall, Keyboard, Main Menus, Manjaro Notifiers, Mouse. This is where you just go in and fine-tune settings once you install it that you want to get done. Programming, Icon Browser, Sound and Video. You've got Lollipop, Sound and BLC Media Player, System Tools. You've got Kaja is your file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. There is Kaja. You've got your usual suspects over here, your desktop file system, documents, downloads, videos. Then you've got your icons right here, and you can change your icon view. If you want it to be a list view, just change it over to list, or you can change it to a compact view, or just go back to your icon view. You can make those bigger right here with a couple of clicks. Let's go ahead and leave that at 150%. In here, you've got places. You can scroll down, places, information. If you want to change that to a tree, you can. Or you can do it with history. So you can change these up the way you like them as well. So let's go ahead and close out of Kaja. Next thing I want to see, we're going to open up the Mate Terminal. And I'm going to see if it has HTOP out of the box. It does not. Let's try top. It does have top, so let's open that up. I have this machine assigned 2 gigabytes of RAM. At present, at rest with the terminal open, you're at 487 megabytes of RAM being used. That is extremely, extremely light. That is low on resources. That is lower than KDE, actually. At rest, KDE is usually hovering around 800, but it does have a lot more of effects. But still, for a desktop environment, being below 500 megabytes of RAM at rest is really impressive. So let's close out of that. If you've never tried Manjaro and you want to give it a shot, Zip on over to their website, download it. And let me show you, when you go download a community edition, when you go to Manjaro, you go to manjaro.org. This is where you're going to come. When you click on Try Manjaro, it'll pop up. You'll see XFCE, you'll see KDE Plasma, and you will see GNOME. Now, if you want to try something different, go up to Editions. You've got Official, Community, and ARM. Just go over to Community. they got Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin, i3, Mate, and Sway. You want to try Mate out, just click on Mate. They zip you on over. They show you the mate. You click on it. They show you the 64-bit version. You can download it by torrent, or you can download it directly to your PC. That's your choice. That's how you get Manjaro Mate or any other version of Manjaro you want to see. Very impressed, Manjaro Mate. I haven't been in the Mate desktop environment in over a year. It's still lightweight. It's still beautiful. Go download it. Throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual box and take it for a spin. I think you'll like it. Before you leave today, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you want to follow me on social, go down in the description below and you can follow me there. And if you would like to become a patron of the channel, zip on over to patreon.com. It's down in the link below and become a patron. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video.